So you're looking to level up how you accomplish your DIY electronics projects. This is a great video to start with. We're gonna cover how to make your own wires using a 22 AWG wire, a crimp tool, uh, pin terminals, and the JST XH connectors. So XH connectors are the ones with the 2.54 millimeter hole spacing that's used in breadboards, a lot of the uh, dev kits and MCU development boards that are out there today. So super common uh, wire size, JST XH. We love it here. So let's take a look. And the first thing we wanna look at is some of the tools. So let's take a look at our crimping tool. Uh, we're using the iCrimp. Uh, I don't actually know what model this is, but uh, you can see some of the designations of crimp size on the side there. And um, really nice tool. It's been great for me. Uh, I really, really like it. Uh, super easy to use. I get good crimps out of this, this tool here. I generally use 22 AWG wire for the JST XH connectors. And I found this stuff is super nice. It's got the super flexible silicone wire uh, sheath on the outside and it's stranded. So uh, it is quite flexible, it's quite strong and it's worked really well for a lot of projects for me. So I'm gonna continue, continue buying this stuff readily available on Amazon. I think they sell boatloads of this stuff. Um, you can also use 20 AWG if you wanna uh, run a little bit more amperage through one of these connectors or if you need to run a longer uh, signal wire. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the pin terminals and the anatomy behind the pin terminals. So um, it's important to kind of know so you can understand what's happening with the crypt tool. So let's take a look. First of all, pin terminals can come like this on these uh, metal bands. They can also just come in these little baggies. Um, I like the quality of the ones on the metal bands, but I like the convenience of being able to actually put these things away. The metal bands make it really difficult to stuff it into a, a drawer or whatever. Connectors, those all just come in baggies anyway. So let's take a look at one of these pin terminals here so you can see exactly what's going on. And this is gonna take some zooming because these are pretty small. Okay, so here is the pin terminal. And as you can see, very small. The male pins go in on this side. Your wire, comes in on this side. And as you can see, this has two sets of tabs, one in the back, the other one in the middle here. And those will actually fold over onto the wire. The big tabs in the back will fold over onto the silicone housing or the plastic housing of the wire, the plastic sheath of the wire. And then these middle tabs will actually be folded over and pinch the exposed wire after stripping it. So um, the spacing here is really important because what you wanna do is you wanna strip your wire in a way that when you push it all the way into the end here, it butts up against this pin terminal here and your silicone housing pushes past these big pins, but not too far. You don't want it to push into the area where these middle pins will be crimping onto the exposed wire. Okay, so now how does this work with the crimping tool? You can see these crimping tools have kind of a shelf halfway through the crimping portion. And that shelf is really an important piece of getting your crimp right because you want your big wings to kind of sit on that shelf. The big wings, and then you see how uh, once you pinch this down, it will push the bottom of the pin up and it'll fold those wings around. And I'll just do a quick demonstration of that so you can see. And as you can see the pin there, I have the big wings facing out away from my fingers and both my flat palms are up. I'll place my hand underneath the crimping tool and then I'll come right down on top. I'll come right down on top there and I'll slide those wings right onto the shelf. The big wings go right onto the shelf there. 
And then usually you just click it once and that sets the pin in place and it will, uh, you can set the crimp tool down so you can grab your wire or whatever and prepare your wire. But I wanna show you, let's see if we can see it here. Let me zoom in how this works when it pinches the tool down. So the middle tabs are up against uh, the metal in the middle, the larger tabs here. So when we pinch this down, it folds them over and pushes those big wings into the wire sheath. And then the small wings, let's see if we can see what happened here. And the small wings also got pinched over and those would be grabbing the exposed wire. So let's do one real quick. Let's do a demonstration. So let me just cut a little bit of this off here. Now I have this stripping tool and um, it's worked pretty well for me. And the only thing that I don't quite like about it is it actually doesn't go uh, close enough to the to the crimping bits, or not the crimping bits, to the stripping teeth so that it will uh, strip less material. So what I have to do with this one to get the right amount of wire exposed is first move this black adjustable thing to its lowest setting, butt the wire up against it, and then pull it off ever so slightly. And as you can see, it's just such a small amount of wire that's that's left over. It wasn't a great pinch uh, strip because it's looking somewhere else. Let me redo that real quick here. All right, that's better. It's just such a small amount of wire. And then always good practice is just give a little twist here. You're not going to be able to twist it much because there's just not enough wire exposed. But now let's load up one of these pin terminals. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm holding it with the fat wings, the big wings facing away from my fingers. And I'm going to bring the crimping tool right down on top. And I'm just going to set those large wings on the shelf that's in there and click the crimping tool once. There we go. Now, what I like to do is rest my fingers on top of the crimping tool as I put the wire in. That's going to help just stabilize it. And you want to push this wire in pretty much as far as it will go. Let's see if I can get a different angle here so it's a little bit more visible for you. I'm going to push the wire in as far as it will go. And you'll feel it stop. Uh, this takes a little bit of feeling to get used to. And then you're going to want to just crimp it all the way down. The tool will release. And then you can pop the wire out from the other side. So let's take a look and see if this is a good crimp or a bad crimp. Let me zoom in. This looks to be a very nice crimp. And I can say that because the large wings have gripped the silicone sheath and they haven't gone too far. And then the small wings have gripped onto the wire without grabbing onto any of the silicone sheath. So that's a nice crimp right there. And you can see on the back of this terminal housing here that there is a little wing that sticks up. See that little ramp looking wing that sticks up there? That little ramp, you're gonna wanna click that into, line it up with one of these holes here and click it into one of those holes. So let me do that real quick here so we can do that on camera. And this is takes a little bit of feel as well but you'll also feel that click into place when I oh, missed it a little bit, but there we go. Give it a little tug to make sure that it's nice and secure. And that's it. So you do that a couple more times uh, based on how you want your wires laid out. That's all you have to do to crimp and create your own JST XH wire connectors. And that will make it very, very easy to solder some pins 
onto your Aztec platform project board. You saw them on the back side there. Uh, I like to pull these little black pieces off. It just exposes a little bit more of the pins so you can use them. Uh, sometimes it makes a better connection. And then as you can see, these connections become really easy. You just plug them in like that. Really solid. And you can opt to just uh, use the exposed wires there like this board has, or you can opt to, like we showed earlier, put in a, put in a header like that. And then you'd be able to slide your female into the male header there, click it into place, and you'd be good to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. We appreciate all the support for the channel and for the store. We'll see you next time.